Hey friends, how's it going? So in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about materials for home learning. Now I realize not everyone's going to have the same materials. And some people may have one thing and other people may have the other. So I'm going to try to teach you guys lessons in a way that it's okay if not everyone has the same thing. When I was growing up, there were a lot of times when we didn't have the things that we needed and that's okay because you can always find ways to make art and that's what I'm hoping to show you guys. Now, when it comes to something to make art on, many of you may have gotten a sketchbook that I made from your school. Some of them are orange, some of them are green. But if you did awesome, this can be what you are doing your assignments in this year. If you did get the sketchbook, you can decorate the outside however you would like, except right here in this corner. I would like to see your name, your grade level, and your class. So whatever your name of your classroom teacher is in the top corner, everywhere else you can decorate it however you would like, and that can be what you work on until we have our first art assignment. If you didn't get a sketchbook, that's okay. My doodle of the week that I did this week, I literally did on lined paper in a regular notebook. So that will work. If you don't have a notebook, sometimes, I, you can tell my daughter did some scribbling on the back of this notebook. You can either fi even find cardboard, if you have any cardboard boxes or old cereal boxes. That can be great for drawing on. I've done all of these things before. I even have an art teacher friend who did an entire lesson about how you could do art on cardboard and still have it look really awesome. My daughter and I even did some artwork over the summer where we were breaking up sticks outside of our apartment and drawing pictures on the sidewalk using the sticks. There's so many ways that you can make art without using art materials if you don't have access to them. I have even used rocks to scratch the sidewalk. If you ever have a piece of charcoal or chalk, you can use those things too. And I would love to see pictures of the things that you guys create, whether it's for our assignments or if it's just something that you are working on by yourself. Now for writing utensils. Again, we're gonna try to be flexible. If you just have a pencil, that is totally fine. If you have markers or pens, even better, super cool. You can use any of these things and I will explain that more in our videos. Now, a lot of my big kids especially tend to get a little judgmental with crayons and they try to say that crayons are for little kids. Now that's actually really silly because there are lots of professional adult artists who make amazing thing with things with crayons. If you received art supplies from your school or if you are using art supplies that your parents gave you, remember to respect those supplies. If we're just scribbling and using things up really quickly, that can get expensive. And so we need to make sure that we're taking our time and not wasting our supplies. So it's okay to doodle and do extra drawings, but if you're just scribbling and leaving marker caps off and letting your anything dry out or breaking your pencils, that makes them not last as long. And that will make it a lot harder for you to do art in our class. So try to take care of the materials that you do have. If you are needing to get art materials, like if you don't have anything to draw on or anything to write with, talk to me or your classroom teachers and we will see how we can get those to you as soon as possible.